I was tagged on Instagram by a BMX rider from Bali named Marta. The post showed a collage of several concrete balls. I wasn't aware of the scene on Bali and I got curious, so I decided to get in touch with Marta. And after talking to him, I thought it would be a great chance to discover new terrain. So I jumped on a plane to ride the Bali balls. I was going to meet Marta at Amplitude Park. He told me he would also bring Yopi. They say Yopi was the founder of BMX on Bali back in the days. It's pretty clear. I was stoked to meet these guys. So many times my story has been told. I wasn't expecting to find a park like this on Bali. A fresh bowl surrounded by a black asphalt snake room. It was like riding on the moon. It was great riding with Yopi. It's inspiring to see someone still shred at that age. Hopefully in 20 years I will still be riding as hard as this guy. I couldn't believe how good the first session at the Amplitude Park was. It made me even more excited to find out what other gems this trip had in store for me. Our next stop would be the Bukit area. This peninsula in the south of Bali is famous for its world class waves. But there is also a bowl, which normally is only open for skateboarding. Good thing Yopi had his connections. So he made some phone calls and we were able to ride it. If it wasn't for the sign on the wall, you would never know there's a bowl hidden in the middle of this quiet neighborhood. Because it was the end of the rainy season, it poured down like crazy every afternoon. Luckily, Marta knew a sick indoor park that was almost finished. It was cool to see all the developments for action sports on the island. really good but with 40 degrees celsius and an ac still on the construction i had to sit by the window after every run to cool down The heat in the park made me lose my focus and I fell on my wrist. I got x-rays but luckily nothing was fractured. I couldn't believe this could mean the end of my Bali BMX trip. So the only thing I could do was rest, while Marta showed me some other highlights of the island.
After a couple of days of rest, I really wanted to give it one more shot. So we hit the road again. I heard about the Eat Sleep Skate Ball in the Sanur area, one of the oldest balls on the island. It started as one quarter pipe back in 2005 and slowly developed into this crazy ball. Once I started riding, I got so hyped I totally forgot about my wrist. I was stoked to have one more session before heading back home. It's crazy to think that all of this happened just because a fellow BMX rider tagged me on Instagram. 